men, Louisiana women are fighting for equal pay, and today they took that fight to the state capitol. They are bringing awareness to the gender pay gap. NBC Local 33's Crystal Whitman explains why some say it's more of an earnings gap and who could get the last word. Representative Barbara Norton, a Democrat from Northwest Louisiana, says she's been fighting for women for nine years, especially for their pay. Why is it that we have women who are qualified, who have the certification, who have the credentials, who have the tools and the resources to do that same job, but as they do that job, they still are not receiving the pay. She held an equal pay rally to bring awareness to what she calls the gender pay gap days after her House Bill 289 stalled in the House Labor Committee. Opponents say that the data showing the pay gap doesn't really account for differences in education and experience or choices women make in the hours worked and time away from jobs for family obligations. My question is, why do we rank last then? What other, what other laws or what other statistics are other states using that put them at the top. So we're, we, we're clearly still not getting it right. But as Angela Atkins with the Louisiana chapter of NOW says, their message is clear to expect them at the ballot box in October. Some Louisianians claim to be pro-woman, but they are not our champions. Their extremist propaganda plays on emotions of fear. We have a message for opponents of women's equality. We will use the one constitutional right we do have and we will vote you out. For NBC Local 33 News, I'm Crystal Whitman. Representatives Dodie Horton and Beryl Amity are two women on the committee who voted against Norton's bill. Meanwhile, Governor John Bell Edwards sought to revive a campaign promise to touch on the gap between men's and women's wages.